Hi guys, I'm Mark Rodriguez. I'm Jenny Rodriguez. I'm Pika Chica. Sweet Pete is not here today, so I took his band. But I like that one better. Yeah, but that's mine though. I want it. Yeah, but it's the same one I've been using in every episode since we started. I want it. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Fine, give fine, fine. Jeez, let's start. Yay. And I am Rocky Armas, and you are watching the Video Game Masters as we continue the King of Fighters Marathon. And today we're going to talk about the King of Fighters 2006 for the PlayStation 2, and we're in black and white now. Wait, why are we in black and white right now? It has to be Angel. She's been messing around a lot lately. Yeah, I know it's Angel. Wait, isn't she the one that does the purple bar thing? Yeah, she's the one. <laughs> Oi! A black thing! Whoa, we're back in color. I guess that worked. Anyway, let's talk about the game before anything else happens. Okay? Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hello. The original Maximum Impact was released in 2004 for the PS2 and Xbox and has a story similar to the original Fatal Fury. The gang leader Duke killed a man named Fate and his adopted son's Alba and Sori Rimeira enters Mephistopheles fighting tournament six months later to get revenge. The game has classic KOF characters like Hyo, Iori, and Terry Bogard, but also all new characters like the Mayra Brothers and Lien Neville. The game wasn't all that well liked by fans at the time, mostly because of the horrible English dub voices. After all, would you rather hear Iori speak like this? Or like this? Just lie down and die. Maximum Impact 2 was released in April 2006 in Japan, but when it came to the States, it was renamed as King of Fighters 2006. I guess to avoid the lackluster Maximum Impact name and to bring in more awareness to the KOF name. Of course, in Japan, or in Finland in this case, you have the game with the original name, and what the hell are you doing, Rocky Armas? KOF 2006 for the PS2 brings back the 3D action of the first game with faster action and more characters. KOF favorites Vidi Khan and Kura Diamond return, along with all new characters like Whis, Mayrick, and Nagase. There's also a lot of hidden extra characters like Geese Howard, Richard Meyer, and even Hanzo Hattori from Samurai Showdown, and Theo from Metal Slug. You know, back in the day we didn't have to pay for hidden characters that are already on the disc. Like the first game, Maximum Impact 2 abandons the 3-on-3 three -three gameplay and goes for the more traditional 1-on-1 one -one fighting. However, there are extra modes in the game that you fight out in teams. The game has a lot of combos and everyone seems to have multi-hit moves as their basic attacks, so you can tap 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 similar to the Tekken games. Special moves can cancel into each other and can even be cancelled into the desperation moves. You can also fill up the power bars to fight it out and each character can do different kinds of desperation moves depending on how many stocks they have saved up. You can also land from throws and there's also a special technique that lets you block and counter an attack with precise timing. There are also a lot of hidden costumes for all the characters including the hidden ones. The game's plot continues with the ter new tournament held by Ades. So Soiri and Alba go to investigate. Since Duke has been defeated in the first game, the new villain in charge is Jivatma. He wants to take over Southtown. However, Louis seems to know more about him and is out to stop him first. As you play the game, each character will face a rival opponent. Then you will face Louise, although she isn't evil. She wants to warn you before you try to fight Zivatma. After you defeat her, you will face the final boss Zivatma. Playing the game reveals that this cheap bastard isn't exactly a human. And we also find out that neither are Luis, Alba, and Soeri. And if you think Chivatma looks weird enough now, look at his alternate outfit. Very freaky. Wait, what the hell is that? Whoa, I want to really see that bouncing. Ooh. Ooh. A sequel named Maximum Impact 2 Regulation A was made for the arcade and added Blueberry. Ash Crimson, Sia Lan, who is a member of the same Hisoku clan that Duolon is a member of, and Makoto Misoguchi from Fighters History. 
because we just had to get Virus History involved. This was only released in the arcade and for the Japanese PS2, but never released for the American version. The game brought back the 3 on 3 KOF gameplay, but didn't have a story mode. There was also a Maximum Impact 3 that's supposed to be released as one of the new games for the all the time recently released PlayStation 3, but it was eventually cancelled. A shame because we will never find out what happened to Sori since he is captured at the end of the last game. There was also an anime called King of Fires Another Day featuring characters from this particular game. It was four short episodes following different characters like Terry Bogart and Kyo Kusanagi and all tied together in the end. There was also an appearance of Ash Crimson in the last episode since he was one of the newer characters at the time. If you were lucky enough to pre-order King of Fires 2006 back in the day, you would get the DVD for free. And now here's our thoughts on the game. Well, my thoughts about King of Fighters Maximum Impact 2 is that it's a really nice game as a King of Fighters series. It's a little bit different than the usual King of Fighters games. And there are some nice things in that game. And also it's really interesting to see all the 2D characters in 3D or how do you how they made these characters in different styles so it's really fun and it's also always nice to see new characters and new story and stuff and always these cutscenes and also some history about these characters is also nice to have in this game and uh, I really enjoyed playing it. It's a pretty fun game. It's fun and nice to watch. And it's there's lots of things to do, like the bonus material and mini games, challenges, and so on and so on. So there's lots of stuff to do in this game, and it's fun to play this game. Only minor thing what I don't like about this game is the combo system. Only minor gripe I have on this game, but otherwise it's pretty fun game and I actually happy to own it. Well I like the game, it's pretty awesome. I mean it plays look kinda of, kinda of plays kinda of different, it kinda of plays like King of Fighters, but everybody has all these multi um, combo attacks and almost plays like a Kind of like Tekken, sort of. So it's kind of a mixture between Tekken and King of Fighters. And you got all these wacky death blows. You got a whole lot of characters. Each character has a whole lot of costumes. I mean, you got characters that, like, people from Samurai Shodown, people from Metal Slug. Richard Meyer has not been seen again since Fatal Fury 1. And it's just so crazy. And then you got people dressing up like Geese Howard, dressed up like characters from other King of Fighter games, like Gonitz and Mukai. And you got Mai dressed up like Lum from an anime. It's just... It's so random. You never get tired of the game. There's just so much things to do, and, and every character has their ending, so it makes you feel like playing the game over and over and over. It's just cool. What do you think? Well, I actually like the 3D. It's kind of a little slow for me, because I'm used to playing like the 2D version of uh, Kino Fighters, but it's still overall, it's easy to play. But uh, I haven't played in a while, so I got a boo-boo out of it, a little bruise, but I hope to play it again soon, whenever it heals. So. Well, I do like the characters' costumes. Some of them, they threw you off a little bit. You're like, who is this? And I'm like, oh, okay, it's this person. So then I could change the different costumes on them. And different hair colors and different skin colors. It's pretty strange for me, but yeah. Well, I think the game's pretty good. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's also cool seeing the Kino Fire guys in the, in the 3D arena. And it plays kind of like how he said, a bit like, I wouldn't say Tekken all the way, but it still plays kind of like your typical Polygon type fighting game with a little mix and match from the Kina Fires, you know, features like the rolling and the super combos they perform and, and um, their combo system is totally different in this game. You do a lot more juggles and even when you're like beat up on the floor, you can still hit, do a couple of hits here and there. So I kind of like that part of the gameplay. But, like, what she said, the game plays a little slow, like, it kind of floats a bit sometimes, like, it kind of takes a while for this, like, when they do the super combos, it just takes quite a while for them to perform their super combos. Especially combo. when you block. Oh, yeah. That's like, like that when you block, sense. they are trying to attack you, and then you block, and then you can actually get them back. It's like they couldn't animate well, the, they couldn't handle the animation that the people were actually, like, running and having all those weird, like, shadows behind them, like, it looks kind of, you know, sort of... And then another thing about the game is that what I don't like about the game personally is that when you select your characters on the selection screen, 
it takes forever to select your character. It like loads per second every time you choose a character. So that kind of slows down. Yeah, especially when you're doing a two player game and you're doing a like three versus three thing, it takes forever because every time anyone moves the cursor around, it, it keeps pausing and stalling and loading per character. And the pictures are too small. I'm like trying to squint who am I picking. I think you have to have like a big screen TV for finding out which character are all around the, the menu. Yeah, it does take a while. Yeah. But either way, it's a good game. It's a lot of fun. A lot of new and original characters that unfortunately we never got to see in the normal King of Fighters series. It's too bad there was never a sequel. There was one that was canceled. But it's a fun game overall. It's an awesome game. It's worth checking out. If you're a fan of King of Fighter games and 3D games and you kind of like part one, wish it was better, this one's awesome. So check it out. Anyways, guys, this wraps up today's episode of Video Game Masters. I'm Mark Rodriguez. I'm Johnny Rodriguez. Chica Chica. And I am Rocky Armors. And hopefully you have enjoyed watching our King of Fighters Marathon. What the hell? Don't forget me, sleeping as usual. Thanks for watching and see you next time.